Hello everyone. Hello. Thank you for joining us for our live video. Sorry for the delay. Yes, a while only. Okay. I'm Tommy. I'm Sadiq. Okay. Uh, thank you for this. Uh, joining us on this Friday afternoon. Yeah. We hope it's just in time before everyone goes off for a very long weekend. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Happiness. It's a long, <laughs> super long weekend. Yes, that's right. Mm. So this will be the second week. I think right after last week, last two weeks, so a longer weekend. <laughs> yeah. Well, we also learned to uh, update our customers also regarding about our store operating hours. Mm. Yeah. Correct. Yes. So. so mm. Yeah. Start lah. Start lah. Okay. So our operating <laughs> hours. If you guys mm. have not been um, informed of, haven't been following us for the past mm -hmm. few weeks live video, we have already changed our operating hours. So we are open Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. We used to be closed for lunch from 12 o'clock, right? To right. 1 o'clock. Now no longer. we are open. That's right. So you can feel free to pop on down to our retail store. Don't have to wait until 1 p.m. So now we are open throughout even from 12 to 1 p.m. That's right. Okay, we have Mr. WM Tan. Hello. Oh. Thank you. Uncle our number one fan. Thank hello. you so much for joining us for a live video. Uh, yeah, and Mr. Audrey so hello. And then Audrey Long also saying hello. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for a live video. All right. Please do help to share and like the video. Yes. Uh, as we share very exciting news regarding about certain product range later. Some new products. Yeah. Uh, some correct. new bikes. Yeah, yeah, that's of course. <laughs> okay, then mm. again, so when we already change our operating hours, mm -hmm. we just like to inform you that uh, no longer you need to do any uh, appointment for test ride. All right, yeah. all right. We still have been getting uh, inquiries from customers uh, asking whether do I need to make any appointment. So great news, no need. Just yes. need to bring your bike. Okay, if you need to do a test ride, just come over to a retail store. No appointment needed. Mm. Uh, but it's also provided the weather is good lah. Yes, that's right. If it's pouring or the ground is wet, uh, we are afraid then test strikes are cancelled until the ground is wet. Uh, sorry, it's dry again. Yes. So let's say maybe you come during morning, it was pouring. Then maybe, uh, yeah, I want to actually come down on to test strike. They cannot. Yeah. So what you can do is you can maybe wait a while. Lah. Maybe go, go and limp copy one, two hours when the ground is wet, uh, dry again. Then you can come over to do a test strike. That's correct. Right. Right. Weekdays mm. is the perfect time for you to go for... That's right, test okay, test. because our Saturdays tends to be a little bit more crowded. Mm. So if you can, please come by on a weekday, yes. okay, from 10 a.m. all the way to our latest uh, test drive slot, maybe about 6, 6 15, 6 30. Right. Mm. And for our customers yeah. who actually purchased a bike from us before, mm. uh, the good thing is that we have our check and tuning now. Mm. No need appointment. Don't need to email us, just bring it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we have a question from Mr. Alfie. Okay, so tomorrow open? Tomorrow, yes, we're open from <laughs> 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, so uh, if you are keen to grab maybe some accessories or maybe a brand new bike, mm. okay, our cash and carry bike that you might want to enjoy, take okay, ready, sure. you can enjoy during the long weekend. Yes. Okay, so we're going to share later some of the models that we have carry, la. we're correct, carrying yes. actually for your cash and carry. That's correct. Mm. So just to update everyone again, okay, uh, our operating hours uh, so will be actually closed uh, from Sunday uh, to next Monday for the Visak Day holiday. For this week? La. This week. Yes. Okay, so we'll be back at store next Tuesday mm -hmm. from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Right. Okay, so if you're looking to get a bike to ride during the long weekend, please do drop by today mm -hmm. or, or maybe tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Okay, before we close la, on Saturday. Hello, right. okay, hello. Hey, hello. hello, hello. Hi. Thanks for joining us as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, hmm. so let's start with our um customer. Oh yeah, for the bikes that we have for cash and carry, right? That's right. If you want to get one and hmm. you have a particular color that you like in mind, hmm. please come by to the store earlier. La. All right. Yeah. Uh we have actually uh built pre-built actually a lot of the different models, different uh, like colors. The different colors and models. So if let's say you are keen to get a bike, you want to ride it really soon, you do not want to wait, mm -hmm. please do drop us an email. Okay, yes. hello at mightyvalo.com for yes. any inquiries or you can straight away PM us on our yeah. carousel. We can do it on Google Business. You can do it on our Facebook even. Okay, yes. and then we can get back to you uh, on the availability of your model as well as the color. But we do carry quite a few range. Lah. That's correct, so yeah. there definitely there will be a catch and carry that you can do. Mm. Okay, we, can, we also want to inform our customers if you are purchasing your bike okay, at our retail store, we only accept cash. Pay now or bank transfer. That's correct. Okay, we do not have any credit card terminals there at the moment. Lah. So mm. please, uh, only these three mode of payment. Any R20 mm. available for cash and carry by LP? Yes, okay. we have. That's right, LP. Yeah. Okay, we have quite a range of R20 colors. So just drop us an email, okay, PMRs, okay, before you make your way down to our retail store to do a cash and carry. 
Correct. In mm. fact, we also have our special like those edition, like JK11. Yes. We also have the Redia mm. uh, upgrade uh, kit that's already installed on the bike. That's right. Yeah. Okay. For those of our customers, you want to have a little bit of more uh, premium quality uh, components on your body. Yes. Okay. You can opt for these two series, which is actually our JK, meaning 11. the JK11, uh, yeah. the Joseph Kusak yeah. carbon wheel set with Correct. all your Shimano upgrades. Lah. These yes. are. Uh, the price is higher, lah, but definitely you enjoy all these uh, great upgrades. Lah, that's right. correct. So that's one range. The other one would be our Redia component. These are all the upgrade correct. components. Okay, on the bike, uh, yeah. we like to stress also that these are not limited edition models. Mm -hmm. They are actually special bike models that we prepare for our customers because we have been getting inquiries from you, okay, from our customers and viewers that you want special components to be uh, built on your body frame. So that's correct. why. Taking into your consideration, okay, we have come up with the JK11 as well as the Redia uh, components available. That's okay, correct. so you don't have to wait. We have ready cash and carry now. Okay, yes. so drop us an email or just PM us or if let's say you're around in Tyson area, just drop by to our retail store. We have a look. Yeah. Audrey is asking, how about the new two ton? What so fast? Wait, wait, <laughs> sure, later going to share with you. Okay, of course, yes. our new Interpon X uh, two correct. tone color. Yeah. So now, since ready, Audrey asking right. <laughs> Yes. We wait no longer. La. Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, if you have been joining us for the very first time, you might be wondering what is Interpon X frame color that Tommy is mentioning. Yes. Can we share something about that? Okay. So Interpon um, crossover birdie. So Interpon is actually a powder coating company that is being uh, used, brought over to Pacific Cycle. To okay. Spray on the body itself. Okay, if yeah. uh, those of you right who have followed us since last year, you might be familiar with the Birdie Limited Edition T40. Yes. That's and correct. then we actually launched and introduced about that a particular powder coating that was used on the T40. Mm. And a lot of viewers were very curious and they were sold out lah, the T40 because of this uh, powder coating that was used on the T40. Oh, yeah, we remember that some customers would take. Pen and stuff to knock all right the okay palette. so this uh, particular powder coating uh, uh we call it the interpon x uh, d2525 it's an yes. architectural grade powder coating used on this body frame uh really strong really durable uh really Weather scratch resistant, resistant. Yeah. uh i should stress it's not scratch proof uh. yes. some people ask me is it scratch proof no la but it's more resistant to scratches la, i should say and it's uh color fast yes. so what is color fast color fast hmm. is to um, it's basically in layman term lah, to say that layman your color term. will not get faded away. Okay, and yeah. you will retain that, that kind of sheen and that color lah. That's correct. You know, yeah. some, some, some powder coating or some color ah, yeah. uh, not so good one over time, you see the thing like Tau Se, uh, the color run. <laughs> but yeah. not for the Interponex. Uh, but uh, that colors. doesn't mean when you do your uh, cleaning, you use anyhow, take thinner, go and wipe. No same la. thing lah, if you uh, do that, of course, any colors also work. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're going to run through with you, okay, uh, some slides regarding on the Interpon X uh, frame colors, okay, mm -hmm. so that you have a better understanding of this particular frame colors that uh, Mighty Velo is bringing in exclusively, okay, That's to correct. our viewers in Singapore. We'd like to stress also that these colors are only available in Singapore mm -hmm. exclusively for Mighty Velo Mighty only. Velo. So yes. it's not found in other birdie distributors or even in any other country. That's correct. Okay, so if you want something really unique, Something special, okay? Maybe something for your body frame. Uh, value will be there, okay? So then you might really seriously consider the Interpon X body yeah. frame colors, okay? So without keeping you waiting, we're going to show you the slide for the Interpon. All right, enjoy. Okay, so the first one that we're going to bring over is a body granite. Okay, the color granite. Okay, this particular color, right? Uh, it comes in this uh, really nice uh, metallic special sheen color la, and yeah. it has this uh, weathering resistance. Okay, uh, this Interponex, yeah, just now we mentioned, all right, is uh, using the D2525 collection Futura series yeah. uh, of premium powder coating. Uh, it's highly durable, uh, which has this special metallic effect and this uh, weathering resistance compared to your standard uh, durability product. So that the aesthetic of your bulk will last longer. Yeah. Okay, so we do have all your price range there on the, on the slide as well. So uh, you notice that the pricing is slightly a bit more higher as compared to yeah. the normal frame colors. Correct. So like for your Buddy City, if you want it in your Interponex uh, frame colors, so that would be going at 3049. Yeah. 
And then, of course, we have the GT at 3549. The Touring Plus at 3349. R20 going at? 4449. And, of course, your buddy roll off? 6549. Okay, so it's available in three uh, different Interpon X colors. Uh, we have your Granite. Which is a bit more of a warm metallic grey. And then okay. with a texturized finish. Lah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we will show okay our customers how it looks like for the actual Granite. product. Because you want to see it in the full glory, right? So we do have one in uh, the GT model to show everyone. Okay, so JJ is now uh, helping to zoom in on this particular color to show everyone. Um, okay, gonna go come nearer to show. All right, so hope you can see. Yeah, for this granite color, right? It's available in generation three frame, the body G three frame, right. and also the new classic frame. Okay, this yeah. is only for this particular color, which is uh, that JJ is showing right now. This is called the granite color. So available in both the monocoque series as well as the new classic That's model. Correct, yeah. Okay, for the new classic model, it's retailing at not two one nine nine, but at two 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 nine nine. Okay, so that's for the new classic in this particular Interponex uh, granite color. That's correct. Right. So uh, it's not your normal military gray. gray uh. Some people yeah. think, hey, this is like military gray color, and like no difference. And uh, no, uh, uh, it's a uh, it's actually a surface textured color. With this silver, silver speckle on your frame itself. Yeah. So I cannot let show you like that because you need to see it physically to see that that silver speckle that's on the frame. There's also like those dark grey speckles. There. Correct. Yeah. So it's a very unique color that is not found on your normal monocoque, the other uh, colors that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this series, uh, definitely the powder coating is really nice, uh, good quality, very durable. Uh, of course, giving you color fast. Qualities as well as uh, giving you a higher degree of uh, scratch resistance for this frame. Yeah. Right, so this is the granite uh, color. So if you want something that is a bit more subtle, okay, you do not want it to be so striking, then this color will be great. Correct. Right, so and of course, available uh, mm. both in the G3 frame and the new classic. All right. Okay, so this color will be available in both the G3 frame as well as your new classic okay. model. So now I'm going to show you another color, which is the gemstone, gemstone blue. blue. All right. So the gemstone blue is a bit more on a darker, uh, I'll say darker tinge, where it actually has a very slight shimmerish. Uh. Correct. Yeah. Uh, this color has been winning fans since the previous two weeks. If they like, oh, if they like we that have color. crowds of people yeah. okay queuing up to get this color. We have to be really fast. Uh, we have comments from customers who bought this particular color. Mm. They went now to do, after collecting their bike, they went downstairs to do a test ride. And they find that under the sunlight condition, right, mm. uh, they find that the color really was nice. It yes. brings out the, really the nice, uh, this, this particular color. It stands out really well. Correct. Okay, with I would say it's the, whole, the whole range of it, mm -hmm. uh, it actually has their own signature like shine. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so for those of our customers who are looking at a darker color, you don't mm -hmm. want something that light, then you might want to consider this uh, gemstone blue color. We have actually many colors, uh, as I said, many riders that actually uh, came to do this particular color, the gemstone blue. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, we have also little questions okay, regarding about JK11. Uh, asking whether can they do it in the Interpon X uh, frame color. Is it possible? Okay, after we listen to customers' <laughs> inquiries, right? Correct. Right. Yeah, we ask, hey, can or not? Can or not? Uh, can yeah. now, okay. Now so, we, uh, okay, so later when we share the JK11 series, okay, we're going to share with uh, viewers uh, how much it will cost actually to top up for your JK11 in all these Interpon, Interpon X uh, colors. Yeah. Alright, so uh, just to recap, okay, this is the gemstone blue color. Uh, this is the one of the darker color among the three. Uh, this uh, Interpon X uh, frame colors lah. So if you want something darker, you know, you like this particular shade, then please do go for the gemstone blue. In fact, I would say hmm. for the Interpon series, right? Yep. We have different color for different um your different interests lah. 
So if you like something more like sporty, a bit brighter, you consider the granite. Color. Correct. Uh, yeah. Because we have also many people saying that our current range, right? Uh, how come this year a bit a bit dark leh? Yeah. How come so many dark colors? So that's why you brought in something a bit more bright, like your granite, mm. like your this gemstone blue, and then later of course another color which is going to show everyone the sandstone color, yes, which yes. is a lighter tone. Okay, so that will be more visible. Let's say during if you like to write during the night or the evening time lah. Mm. Okay. But if you like blue, you will love this gemstone blue. All right, so I'm going to show you. And the next one will be the sandstone. All right. Okay. All right. So this is a sandstone color. Uh, well. So it's more catering for. If you like, say you want to do more of a classic, uh, built by look to match with your leather accessories and stuff. The sandstone color is the one to go to. Yeah. From the other two series, from the granite and the gemstone blue. Uh, All right. Yeah, okay, uh, if you love uh, combining this with like leather saddle, Correct. leather grips, okay, uh, this particular color will actually match it perfectly. Yes. So fans of Brooks, uh, Brooks saddle, Brooks grip, <laughs> Brooks back, Brooks saddle, back, okay. <laughs> You actually love this color because it actually goes really nicely with that color tone. It's not of a mm. muted matte, uh, I also call like those gemstone color finish. Uh. If you right. look closer, right, you will see it actually has those glittery. Uh, and that is the signature trademark yeah. of this in the pawn uh, frame colors, okay? That's because correct. this is not found in all those uh, other colors where it doesn't have all the sheen, this, all this little sparkle. Yeah. That's in like the those frame itself. classic. Classic finishes that Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it reminds me of ivory color lah. Mm. This one. So for those of you who love ivory, uh, this will be quite similar lah. But I personally like this color because of that that extra sparkle to it. All the sheen yes. that's found on the frame. So this is very unique only to the the Pornex frame. Okay. So for customers mm. who like white color, but then Correct. you don't want white because white after a while you know it will turn yellow. Uh -huh. Ah. Ah. This one no worry because of the color fast and it's also ivory a little bit like brownish. That's right. And this will be of a good choice for you. Uh, uh, so yeah. that you will match your, your Brooks saddle. Lah. So if mm -hmm. you are doing, let's say, maybe uh, those antique brown or honey comb, that kind of color. That's correct. That will actually match it nicely. All right. So uh, watch out for our this uh, three colors. Okay. If you can, please drop by to our retail store to have a look at it personally. Yes. So that you can decide. Okay, on which model and which color that you want to go for. That's correct. So just to recap on the different pricing, okay, we have your Buddy City in the pond at 3049. Uh, for the, for the GT model will be 3549. Spring Plus is going at 3349. R20 at 4449. And then of course your roll off going in out at 6549. These are for your these three particular colors, I should say, for the pricing. Lah. So if you're looking at really a premium frame, okay, please uh, do go for this uh, three colors. Okay. All right. So right now, just okay. now, customer mm. was asking about the Interpon colors, right? That's right. And those who have been asking at the retail shop, <laughs> say, hey, can go together with the JK11 model. Or not? Ah, can, can, can. Okay. So we do have the pricing. Okay. So uh, we're gonna show that when we do the JK. Series lah, we'll be yeah. launching later. Okay, then later that we see. All right, okay, right now, okay, we have something really special, okay, to show everyone. This is the first ever two-tone color, okay, for a body frame. Yeah. Okay, we see from far first. See ah. from far, ah, like ah. you see, ah. So this is a combination of two, which is actually the granite color, mm. which is in the main frame. And then for your front fork and the rear triangle there, it's using the gemstone blue color. That's correct. All right, so if you're looking, this color tone right now is available. Yes. And do we need to pay extra? No need. Okay, meaning you just pay the normal interpon, uh, interpon yeah. pricing. Correct. So let's say if you're doing, let's say, a city model and you want it to be in this particular color combination, okay, you only pay 3049. Correct, yes. Exactly, just now the slide that we quote. Lah. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to be like, you want to have your models, okay, in this particular color tone, uh, you just need to pay. The prices that's now up on the slide. Yeah, you also can take screenshot now because Correct. you stay this okay. uh, slide for a while. Okay, I should say that this is the only two-tone uh, body frame at the moment you can yeah. find on the market. Uh. Yeah. Uh, in the future, we might be bringing even more colors. Lah. 
Yeah. Okay, but for now, okay, will be just for your granite and your gemstone blue. That's right. All right. So for those of you who are waiting for something different instead of just a normal. Yeah. Just now, Audrey. Ah. Uh, look, now you see already the new two tone color. Correct. But this is only available in the Gen three model. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And of course, this is only for the Interpon X frame yeah. color. Of course, we do have it in the normal monocoque frame colors like yes, the red, black, the red, silver, red, silver, the black, silver black. Uh. But those are not the Interpon colors. That's so right. if you're looking at something premium, you want something lasting for your body bicycle, of better quality one, then of course you can do this particular color tone. Okay, right. Jacob Ong was asking, can mm. I check if MVR20 available for cash and carry? Any color, no stock? And okay, okay. Um, we do have cash and carry for your R20, yes. okay, for Jacob. So please drop by or you can just PM us on our Facebook. Yeah. Uh, you can also drop us an email la, on hellomightyvelo.com. There's a team of us that will get back to you ASAP, la, so don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just now you're asking about the difference, right? Yeah. So just now we're actually... Uh, talking about all the the different all the perks like, and the qualities of the interpon x frame versus the normal color so of course uh, we can run through it again of course is that thing more that it's actually weather resistant so the means meaning okay uh even when it's wet even let's say it's dirty right it's Forest easier to, to clean. rain yeah uh, it's easier to clean and then let's say uh, you have like fingerprints very greasy right then you yes. touch your frame sometimes you see under the light right you see very distinctly all the fingerprints. That's correct. But not so on this uh, Interpon X frame colors. Yes. They're not visible. Even you have very dirty fingers, you can touch. It actually touch, has uh. this like rough yes. surface where difficult to attract all, right. all the dirt. Uh. That's right. Okay. And then of course, just now, Sadiq did mention regarding about the color fast quality, mm. meaning the color doesn't run. It yes. will stay that nice. Okay. And of course, it will not turn. Uh. So that's one nice thing about the Interpon X correct. frame color. Okay. So, mm. if you want to get like those, uh, I think Jacob was asking about cash and carry. Correct. So, it's not that the color no stock. Why well, stock last? Because on that day, if let's say we already sold out that particular color, mm -hmm. I means don't have really. So Correct. Need to wait for but we do order. carry quite a large yeah. range of colors. La. So, I'm sure there'll be one color that you will be okay with. La. So, okay. if you're keen, please drop us an email right now. Okay, hello at mightyvelo.com. Mm. And then we'll get back to you on the list of uh, colors that's available. Or cash and carry it for the R20. Yes. Okay? okay. For those of you, let's say, let's say we don't really don't have the colors, uh. we will need to build the bike for you. Yes. It will take three working days. That's correct. It's not mm. a long wait. La. Last time we used to be wow, wait one, two, two months, three, three months, months even. Uh. So now it's only about three working three days. Working Once days. your payment is received. That's okay? correct. So chop chop, very fast, you can collect the bike. So Jacob, if mm. you know of a color that you want and you don't want to disappoint yourself, let's say you come Alama, no color, mm. then you can just place your order. La. All right, uh, but it's only three working days. La. That's but of course, if you want to use a bike during the weekend, the long weekend, uh, yeah, just Wait, come no and come grab. Tomorrow, la. Yeah. Come today, come tomorrow, yes. see the color, grab, and then you can enjoy. La. That's okay, correct. please note, okay, payment only by pay now, now or yeah. cash la, or bank yes. transfer. Correct. All right, so uh, just recap, this is the new two-tone. Uh, this is called the Interpon X uh, color that is available okay, right now. Okay, uh, for customers who wish to order. So please state, okay, if let's say in your email, if you wish to place an order, please state you want to have the two-tone Interpon X Seems, frame color. Yeah. All right, and then of course, we'll get back to you with an invoice mm -hmm. la, for your payment. All right, please mm -hmm. know this is the very first time that we've launched this series. So yeah. it's not available elsewhere, ah, only yeah. available in Mightyvelo. In fact, I think for a while, it's just mm. going to be in Mightyvelo available. All no right, other because this, uh, the Interpon X, Frame colors is only exclu exclusively available, Velo, yeah. especially uh, actually ordered by us in Mightyvelo. Correct. So if you're hmm. watching this video not from Singapore, maybe our followers from Indonesia, Malaysia, mm -hmm. you can also purchase the, uh, these colors. All right. I'm Please go to, our, yes, go to our uh, online store, uh, shop.mightyvelo.com. We do actually build and ship, okay, uh, the Interponex, uh, this two-tone color to your country that's correct all right so please if you're interested drop us an email and we'll get back to you yeah. asap so the delivery is not mm. will be ready at your doorstep within three working days la. but oh, we try please. to ship it as soon as possible all right right yeah. okay that will give us some time so of course la. we need to build the bike and then for shipping also right. ah okay so this particular build is for our boss ah even yes okay ah. this this actually is a body roll off Yes. All right. This is his one of his bikes, lah. He has many bikes, lah. Correct. So this is one of them. 
This is a, a body roll off in this particular color. Yeah. If you like the accessories that you mm. want, uh, you can also do them on an upgrade. Later All right. Then we go through with you on the website lah. See right, like the Zili right. crankset, uh, then the brake. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on. To All right. Part. Let's move on to our JK11 series. Yes. Okay. Uh, we like to thank a lot of our customers that came and grabbed a JK11 last week. Uh, we we're pretty surprised so because wow, suddenly our JK11s were flying yeah. off the rack. Okay. Uh, thank Two you so day, much. three working day. Also orders coming. That's in. right. We also have ready cash and carry JK11 yeah. series uh, that you can cash and carry. So like we have actually a uh, four models that you can consider. So like the model we'll that start with the first one. All right. The so, JK gravel. That's right. So this is the JK11 gravel. This is the 18 inch uh, carbon Joseph Pusak wheel set. Carbon wheel set. All right. That is uh, kitted with uh, Billy Bonkers tires. These are actually uh, wider. With uh, this uh, bit of like treading on the tires to give you better grip, lah. Correct. Yes. Mm. So this is not a uh, not exactly a fast bike because some people they say, oh, I want fast, I want to travel fast, yes. ride fast. Is this the model for me? No, no, no. This is more for you to go <laughs> almost all terrain, lah, That you can correct. Go, okay, so we must explain clearly so that you get to choose the correct model. That's so right. for the gravel, it's not meant to be a fast bike, yes. but more to more leisure, right? Because yeah. you'll be using it on more of the off-road terrain, lah. That's light correct. trail, that kind. You need those knobby tires to catch hmm. onto those uh, loose stones and stuff. Correct. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So this one is um, running on Altigra, correct. 11 speed, mm -hmm. 11 to 30. Feet. What about the chain ring? Okay. Chain ring, this is only running on 44. Chain okay, ring. so the chain ring, chain ring size is only 44. Yeah, so that's why it's not meant to really go fast. Lah. That's correct. So as mentioned, this is meant more for your light trail, light off-road, where you really don't need that much speed. Because okay. you're going at such speed at these kind of places, you might really fly. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you're getting this bike, okay, you know that this is more chill, right? More for exploration. Okay. All right. This bike really brings you to places mm. that you think that you cannot go. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but it's a really a really smooth uh, because of the Shimano Altigra components that's fitted there. Mm. And of course, with the Billy Bonkers tires, right? It gives you a really nice cushion, right? Yes. And if you think that you're going go down the slope too fast, don't worry. You have the Joint Tech R1 to stop you just in time. Right. <laughs> I like to think of this like the it's like a Buddy GT upgraded version. Yes, correct. Okay. So if let's say you are primarily you think mm, GT all rounder, but I want yeah. a better quality, even better component. Correct. Uh, then you can consider the JK11 Rebel. Rebel yes. Okay, this is retailing at five eight nine nine. Correct. This is. The only 18 inch, uh, they call it the Joseph Pusak carbon wheel set. Yeah. Okay, because the rest of the JK11 series, the other models are actually 20 inch carbon wheel set sizes. But this is the only 18. Those are for customers who want to go for speed. Correct. Yeah. So uh, 18 inch or so, they give you some flexibility in future. If let's say you want to change to other kind of tires, mm. you have the flexibility to do so. Yes. Okay, but not so for the 20 inch. That's series correct. because that one you can only use the slick tires. Yes. Correct. Okay, so that's one uh, flexibility you might want to consider in future if you want to change to other tires, then you might want to do the JK11 gravel series. Then correct. That's right. Okay, so going at five eight nine nine, we like, like to it. stress ah uh, that for this current JK11 gravel series is not in the uh, white decal. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, I just like to clarify because some customers tell me, hey, you show ah uh, white decal le. But no, uh, the one we are building right now, they're all, they come in black decal. Yeah, okay. Mm. Um, yep. So this particular model also available in uh, Interpon series. Yeah, so the, the prices will be different uh, because of the colors, uh, different coating, right? All right. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so let's say if you want to build, okay, uh, a JK11 gravel, okay, Using the Interpon colors, okay, what will be the prices? So, like for a JK11 gravel, right, it is an additional $150. Yes. Okay, so that's all. So, it means if let's say I want a JK11 gravel in gemstone blue, all I need to do is 5899 plus 150, one, and yeah. then you will get that color. Lah. So, it's very easy to remember. So, you want to upgrade to the Interpon colors, you pay additional $150. Mm. So that's for the gravel series. So if you're looking at the upgraded version, 
nice comfortable right to do your exploration okay you don't mind uh you have the budget there then you consider the jk11 series lah. yes correct. all right so that's the gravel jk gravel uh, we're gonna introduce you now to the other range of the jk11 series uh for those of you looking at speed okay then uh you should be eyeing on this few models okay so we can say again for the jk11 uh gravel series okay the price is 6049 for the Interpon colors, but if you are doing the regular graphite black colors, okay, it will be at five eight nine nine. All right. Okay, give us a while as we set up uh, a few of the models to show you. Okay, for those of you looking at speed as your mm. consideration, right? Then uh, this two model you would actually be very interested in. All right, hey. Okay, why we put these two side by side? Yes. Okay, okay. so if you're looking at speed, ah, uh, speed, you're gonna go fast. Yes. Okay, chase the road bike, the kind. Yes, correct. Then look no further. Go for these two models. Oh, let's say lah, you mm. already sold out your road bike because yeah. you know you need more space for kids lah, family. Mm. Correct. But you still need a folding bike, and you want something fast That's with the kind of uh, capability to keep up with the speed of a road bike. Yes. Then this two model will do nicely. That's correct. Okay. So the difference is that these two are actually mm. almost similar on the component, except that the drop bar is running on the uh, Altigra brake set, mm -hmm. the group set lah. Yeah. Yeah. So this is for look, for those of you who want to have uh, Atigra brake levers on the hood, then go for the um, drop bar series. This will be going at six five nine nine. Okay, well, a shout out to one customer uh, for last week. It's called Simon. He came, he saw, he bought the JK eleven uh, Dura uh, the Ace model. Okay. okay, he was telling me he, he owns a few road bikes. But he wants something that's you know portable. Yeah. Let's say you know weather not so good, I can just fold it. Yep. And then he wants something now because of age catching up. He don't want to go so fast or so. But I say this feel very fast, lah. <laughs> Must ride slowly, oh. Okay. He wants that performance, and he got it. He just catch and carry, and he got it. I think sometimes need to release your inner demon, lah. Correct, lah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So if let's say you're looking at a bike, okay, you have ready a road bike, but you want maybe trying holding bike right now, but you want that kind of performance that only that this kind of uh, components can give you yes, then do consider the jk11 either the ace model mm -hmm. or you can consider the drop bar model yes okay do so, not these mm. two models we don't have them available for uh, test right all right yeah. okay because we don't build a lot of these lah they're mainly yes, for sale the closest one if you want to do a test right would be the r20, r20 yeah. okay so if you want to do a test ride, just come on down to our retail store. Mm. Our staff will bring you down. You can try it out. That's correct. All right. Okay, so for mm. the JK11 road, right, um, the drop bar is available in space black or in red black that you see here. All right. Mm. All right. If, of course, same thing also. If you like to do your interpon frame colors, okay, it's an additional $150. So let's say if you're doing that, okay, then for your ACE model, that would be, be 6549. Or your no drop la, bar? This one is drop bar. Oh, that's road. normal. Na. Ah, 6149. Okay, okay. Mm. And then for your drop bar will be? Drop bar will be at 6749. Okay, yeah. thank you for that correction. All right, but if you prefer, let's say, the normal colors, okay, instead of the Interpon X colors, okay, the price for your drop bar will be 6599. Yes. And for your Ace, that will be 6399. Wow, no lah. Ace is 6599. Six, oh, yeah, 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 correct. Okay, but normal color lah. Like Interpon Don't confuse yes, yes. me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just remember if you don't do the Interpon X colors, it's additional 150 lah. That's yes, all. Very yeah. easy to calculate in. All right, so these are the two models. Okay, if you're looking at fast, fast. Right. That's correct. Of course, there's one more that we have not introduced, and that would be the JK Road. Road, yes. Right. This is JK Road. Then what about JK Ace? JK Ace is this one. Right? Ah, if you okay, think okay. that, um, let's say you want to go fast, mm. and then uh, a little bit of an upgrade. What's the, what's the difference then? Okay, JK Road is running mm -hmm. on Altigra group set. Okay. And then for the JK Ace, let me bring it down. Yeah. 
Okay, so the one that I'm showing you right now would be the JK Road series going at five nine nine nine, while the JK Ace is going at six three nine nine. Uh, some differences would be the components yes. for your road series is using Altigra component, but mm -hmm. for your JK Eleven Ace model, right, it's actually using the very top end Dura, Dura Ace, Ace model. Yeah. So if you're looking at really the best of the best, money is not an issue. Mm -mm. You want to have really all the best stuff on your bike, then go for the Dura Ace. That's correct. Is there any difference in terms of speed and performance between the Ace and the Road? Which is a very popular question. A lot of customers like to go to the store. What's the difference, uh, Tommy? Can you explain now? Uh? Hey, for the Dura ah. Ace, right? Mm. It's much, I would say, smoothness of the shifting. Uh. Almost okay. similar, but because mm. of um, slightly lighter components to those who really want to go weight winnie. Yes. Uh, then that's where the difference are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any difference in the color of your brakes? Brakes and stuff. Okay. Also, there is, right? There is, because due mm. to component availability, right. for this particular um batch if you order okay. the brake comes with the gold brakes so not the red one ah. not the it's red one gold color yeah so you can see the difference on the updated components in our this website you can go to shop.mightyvelo.com or you can go to www.mightyvelo.com click under jk 11 ace or even the road and then there is one column there that says updated component That's click correct. on that and then it will show you all the list of all the updated components that is found on the latest uh, ACE model. Okay, yes. so do not be confused. Huh? Hey, how come the component different color one? Yeah. Uh, so just check, make sure uh, that you get the right one. So the main difference hmm. of the JK Road and then with the, J uh, with the JK Ace is the component itself, the Dura Ace. All right. Yeah. Okay, so if you're looking at Dura Ace, then go for the Ace. Hmm. All right, but of course, if you're okay with your Altigra, then you'll be okay with your Road component, which is the Road model. Correct. Or even the drop bar. Yes. If you want to go for speed uh, Correct. and flexibility on the hood. That's mm. right. Okay. So this is the JK11 series. We like to stress uh, these are the so-called our upgraded uh, premium model that we are carrying and selling at Mighty Velo because there was a demand. Uh, there was an interest in yes. all these bikes being done up in all these particular components, brands, and for performance. Yes. So instead of going through, you know, you yourself, Go and do one big round upgrade. We have done all this upgrade for you. So all you need to do is just take, buy, cash and carry, yes. and enjoy. And just you don't want the hassle of, hey, this one can fit or not. All right. This one can fit or not. And the best of all, of course, all these components are covered under warranty. Correct. Because if you, let's say, do your own upgrade, okay, components are void. The warranty is void. Mm -hmm. So this one, we do everything nicely for you. Yep. Just write and enjoy. All right. Yeah. So okay. we're going to show you, okay, later will be all the different models. Yeah. Uh, so you give us some time as we keep we pack all up the, the bikes first. Pack up the bikes first. Yes. Yeah. We are still open um, tomorrow. Let's say if you want to buy bike for the Thank long you. weekend, do come by and visit. All right, right. Okay. Thanks for joining us for our live video. So if you are here, your very first time. Okay, you are here. Maybe not too sure which model you want to get. We're gonna run through with you some of the different buddy models that we carry at Mighty Velo. Mm. Uh, maybe you've been hearing very good things about the buddy brand. So where does buddy come from? What Correct. is it? Uh, where is it made? What brand is that? Okay, yes. we are here to answer your question. Okay. So let's show them the buddy new classic first. Lah. Let's go from the basic onwards and then we'll show. Okay. All right, so Buddy actually is a German brand. We've been getting that a lot at the store, yeah. asking uh, what is Buddy. We've been seeing that a lot on the park connector besides the other brand. Uh, then it's this brand. Okay, Buddy is a German brand. It's manufactured by this company called Pacific Cycle in mm -hmm. Taiwan. Yes. Okay, uh, it's a very established uh, bike company and they produce not just uh, Buddy, they produce also uh, many other brands like Beach, Carry Me, Carry All, Okay, a lot, and a lot, la. still yes. a lot, so too many to list. La. Correct. Okay, so um, for the Buddy brand, okay, uh, they have quite a few models. Mm -hmm. So like for this very first models that we are introducing to everyone, if let's say you're very new to Buddy Bicycle, mm -hmm. this is the entry-level Buddy New Classic. Correct. Okay, so um, if you're, let's say, a little bit tight on your budget, mm -hmm. 
Okay, but you want a quality folding bicycle. You want performance. Yes. More important than anything. You want to go around island. Simple. All right. Huh. Then and you don't mind spending lah. Yeah. Okay. Then but you don't spend too much money. Correct. Then please do consider the Buddy New Classic. Correct. So what's the feature on this particular model? Buddy? Okay, this New Classic hmm. series to maintain the classic look mm -hmm. with the tubular frame, it needs to have the V brake still. Mm, mm. Okay. okay. So among all other Buddy bikes, only the New Classic come with the V brake. To give more of a classic look, uh. then right. the rest of the body frames are uh, all on this brick. Okay, so that's the main difference. Basically, the frame, uh, you notice, is a round frame, yeah. while the other, uh, they call it the G3 monocoque frame, they are actually flat and then they're a bit more sporty looking. Uh. This actually is the very, they call it new classic. That's correct. Last time when Buddy first came into production, they only had this kind of frame shape. Yeah. So that's why uh, it was getting very popular. A lot of riders were requesting, hey, can you bring back the Classic look. Yes. That's why they finally brought it back. Uh, that's why they renamed it New Classic. Correct. Okay, it's, it went, went through a few uh, upgrades. So your frame is lighter, stronger. You have inner routing also. So it makes the whole bike looks really neat and nice. Yes. And of course, what makes a buddy so special among other folding bikes uh, is that, of course, you have your front and back suspension. Correct. And of course, you notice your frame is a one-piece frame. Uh, almost 99% of all folding bikes you find in the market right now, they do have a folding joint here. Yes. You know, they are, you have to go and fold in the middle to get it folded down. Lah. And then as a result of that, okay, you get a lot of squeaks. Uh, when you ride, there are flex, you know, there are sound. A bit more maintenance. Lah. Correct. So, uh, but the body, we, uh, you, do not, you do not encounter this kind of problems. Lah. So that's why a lot of people are pretty shocked and pretty surprised when they try a body bike. It rides really strong, the frame. It provides you a very strong back and frame, uh, almost like a full-size bike. Yes. And because of these features, all right, it allows you to ride even a longer distance. So for those of you who would like to do round island, boring, doing maybe 100 over kilometer, that kind of, okay, then the buddy bicycle, these features, right, will make your ride more enjoyable. It doesn't mean you cannot do it on other folding bikes that doesn't have this, but these features actually make the ride actually more comfortable. You enjoy your ride even more. Yes. And also, if you notice that Buddy comes with an adjustable stem. Correct. your height. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And the good thing is that, mm. you know, I've ride a few folding bikes, uh, yeah. those cheap ones. Then, you know, when you ride, after a while, you find that it starts to creak. And then, bumpy road, it starts to rattle. That's right. Yeah. But for Buddy, it doesn't. Mm. Yeah. So, it actually comes with an extra locking mechanism. Uh. So, best is you come down, you try. And then, or if let's say you know you definitely don't want any rattling right. sound. Uh, yes. Yeah. We also like to stress, uh, a lot of people ask me also in the, in the retail store, Tommy, does this mean this is your, your most entry level? Uh? This cannot no. do around island, the performance not there. Uh. It's not true. Uh. Okay, a lot of people are pretty surprised when they tried the new classic. Uh, the ride's great, okay? It's great for even petite riders. Yes. So let's say if you're a teenager, or let's say you're getting a bike for your teenager, or maybe for your petite wife, mm. okay, where handling is very important then I would say get the new classic because the reach from the handlebar to your saddle, right, is closer yes. for this particular model. And the saddle is one of the, the softest yeah. mount for all the body models. So one customer asks, hey, can stop the saddle? Ah, so okay. if let's say you want a comfortable saddle, you want very easy management handling ah, for kids, okay, for petite riders, this model is recommended for you. Okay? And Not for children. Lah. Uh, I would, yeah. Okay, I should say it's more of a height requirement. So yes. like for body, right, the maximum or rather the minimum height you can ride body is 145 cm. Correct. So usually about kids, uh, about P4, P5, they should be able to actually ride a body bicycle. Mm. So if you're not too sure, no worry. Bring your kids down to a retail store, do a test ride. Correct. Okay, let them sit on the bike, make sure they're comfortable. Then you commit. Lah. Mm. So you can do a test ride. That's the great thing about a retail store. Just come by. Then you can try it out and see whether you like it. No yes. obligation, don't worry. All right. So, doesn't mean entry level means cannot do this kind of ride. You can. I have customers telling me they do 35 km per hour on a new classic. <laughs> can be done. Okay, around island also they do on a new classic. Yes. So, doesn't mean entry level cannot. You can. Okay? So, it's how strong you are. It's the engine. Yeah, but the, 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 the bike actually helps you to do it in a, in a much nicer and a more comfortable manner. Correct. Yes. Okay? So, the new classic is available in quite a few range of colors. Mm -hmm. Going at two... 199. Nine. Okay, I say again, uh, new classic going at 2199. But if let's say if you like the new Interpon X color, 
the night yes. color you pay additional 100 more and it's going at 2299 two, okay so this is our entry level buddy model uh recommended for kids 145 and above for petite riders or so for those looking at a softer saddle this is the one all right so we're flashing now the range of colors available for the new classic okay quite a few uh personally i like the black lah but it's chill lah okay easy to match lah ah yeah. okay so now Tari is going to follow up with the next uh, model the next one will be the buddy city model buddy city okay so the next model up is a buddy city so buddy city this is the starting model that comes out right after the new classic okay so the frame itself is actually with the buddy gen 3 monocoque frame okay so why what is buddy gen 3 what is the monocoque frame so monocoque frame from the classic frame right they actually have gone through some um upgrades and to lessen out the num the materials used uh. so they come up with all these uh, curve to make the metal more stiffer with all the technology two pieces of aluminum welded together and then comes out this buddy monocoque frame and this is their third generation after they do all the upgrades uh. correct and mm. then there were some questions regarding hey do multi velo carry the latest gen 3 we only carry Gen 3, okay? Yes. Gen 2, we don't carry. Those are the old models, okay? Only Whatever Gen 3 only. Of the, All right. of the oven from ah, Pacific Cycle. Okay. These are the latest from Valo. Pacific Cycle. So yeah. only Gen 3 we carry from, uh, from Pacific, Pacific Cycle. Cycle. That's yeah. right. Okay, so who should get the city model, Sadiq? Okay, who hmm. should get city model? Are those, let's say if you're also tight on budget, mm -hmm. you're, you still want a good frame, a good oh. backbone like that. Okay. Uh. I should say more people for those who like they are more like yesterday la, I have a customer uh. he came with the son the son liked the new classic uh. the father look at the the he liked this cut this frame so actually it actually it has to do with a lot with customers also la, because yes. some they like a more sporty profile like if you want right. like that la, then definitely get the city model because this offers you the cheapest and most affordable monocoque series That's correct. then get the city Okay, performance wise, I should say, if you compare this with the new classic, uh, right quality, everything, I think almost quite similar. Yes. Okay, we'll try quite similar. It's only this one comes with this brake. Uh, your new classic comes with your caliper brake. Correct. Okay, so, but we, I should say that the distance from here to here, slightly a bit further, if you compare with the new classic. New classic, yes. Uh, so classic if you're a petite rider, I should still, I should still recommend go for a new classic. Also depends. Mm. Depends on who you ride with. Because yes, yes, at the yes. end of the day, after that, you follow the group, you will swing towards an upgrade. Alright lah. Yeah. Okay, and also if you are looking at a model to upgrade, yes. if that's your primarily your, you want to buy the bike to Tseng one, uh, then this one. Like Tobi lah, always Tseng. Then buy the Birdie City, okay? This is the most affordable G3 model with this frame. Yes, sir. You can slowly, after the warranty is over, you take your time and Tseng lah. Mm. Tseng everything until you become don't know what lah. Up to you. Yes. Okay, so this is the model to consider because you wouldn't want to buy a expensive model, then you're going to turn out, you wasted yes. that the component. Ma. So you should go with a city. Correct. Then slowly you can choose what components to Correct. Buy. Okay, so like for this one, the can we run through the specs and then we can go on to the next okay. model? So for hmm. this itself, it comes with this brake, yep. Avid BB5. Uh -huh. uh, good enough for you to stop fast yes. enough. These are these brake. All right. Uh, Running on Shimano 9. Okay, that give you enough nice gearing. Nice Sora. Sora, you yeah. have to do round island, whatever, in Singapore terrain. La, That's correct, yes. Tires wise? Tires is running on CST tire. Okay, um, great it on It has your... threadings as well for you to go a little bit or mm -hmm. like gravel road. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so if you're doing primarily just on PCN, you're doing yeah. on road, you're doing on the cycling pavement, That's this correct. is fine. Okay, yeah. this works great. Okay, price, how much? Okay, for the body. City. Yes, it will be going at 2699. Very right good. Now, and then, of course, if you're interested to do the Interponex uh, premium color, it's an additional 350 going yes. at 3049. That's okay, right. very easy to remember. But it's CT 2699. Mm -hmm. For those of you looking at an entry level G3 frame, yes. uh, you don't want to spend too much, or maybe you're looking to upgrade in future, go for a Buddy City. Okay, yes. uh, great for casual ride, park connector, primarily on road, no problem. All right, Buddy City. All right, we have a uh, quite a range of colors for the Buddy City. Yes. Uh, these are your normal standard colors that we are flashing right now. Your red, black, aquamarine, and sky blue. No need to pay extra two six nine nine, and that's it. Then of course we have your premium, okay? 
Uh, colors, okay, some colors are out of stock at the moment, like your pearl mouse gray. I'm so, sad to say, pearl mouse gray out of stock. I only have royal mustard and graphite black at the moment, which you can order. But pearl mouse gray, okay, you have to wait a while. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the premium gloss colors showing right now. We have a few black, silver, red, silver, your space black, lava brown, as well as military gray. All these colors, yes. additional 200, 200 more. Dollars. Okay, so we do have a lot of this cash and carry at our store. If there's a color that appeals to you, please wait no longer. Drop us an email, hello at mytvelo.com or head on down to our retail store to have a look. For cash and carry. That's right. If okay. It's available, huh? All right. Okay, without keeping you waiting, we're going to introduce the next okay. model. This okay. is called the Buddy GT. GT. GT means what? GT means good grand. Good stuff. No, la. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> grand tour. <laughs> I think so. La. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay, so for this model, the next mm. two models that we're going to show you, which this is now is GT, mm. the next one is R20. That's right. So okay. people will ask, which one better, GT or R20? Okay, depending on what you're using it for. Because I always tell them, what you use it for, then we'll recommend the correct one for you. Yeah. Okay, GT, what is it for? GT is more for people uh, who wants to go multiple terrains. So you if you're looking, uh, if you're a rider who wants to do many many different places one mm. uh you know go in chong you know go to the mud trail la, uh you know, do don't know all those all this everywhere one green then you corridor go, green corridor correct yes. then please do the gt yes. okay but i should say because of the knobbly tires on your bike okay it doesn't run as fast as some of the other models correct okay so it's, it, it might not be the fastest speed in terms of speed la, the gt might not be as fast like compared to a r20 like what he's holding right now okay yeah. Uh, but the GT has uh, really good components uh, from Stramax 5 components. Yes. Uh, it has a uh, brake actuated uh, Juin Tech hydraulic disc, yes. so the braking is really smooth, very nice. Uh, and because of the broad tires, right, uh, some customers have commented it's a very fun ride. Yes, it is. So you can go a little, I mean, like for the GT, uh, those people who want to, let's say, you want to go anywhere, lah, yeah. simple to do. Okay, and R20 is someone who wants to go fast. You want to get something off the shelf, all right? Easy to fast, to go fast ride. That's then right. That will be the R20. Okay, so really, it all depends on what kind of ride, what kind of like groups you're riding with. Yeah. So make sure you get the correct model to follow them. Yes. Let's say all of them are all on road bike. Yes. And then, oh, uh, come lah, join us for for a ride. Well, you use a GT, you follow them, you will torture yourself. Yes. But if you use a R20, you find that effort wise, hey, it's much easier. Correct. So make sure you use the correct model, okay, mm -hmm. to go for your ride lah. Correct. Otherwise, you end up uh, dragging them behind, or you, you, you also feel paisay, also yeah. you, you're like guinea pig, cannot catch up with them. That's correct, yeah. Okay, we have a question uh, under Nicholas. Hmm. Bridge GT, no slide. Okay, sorry. Nicholas team, how does Birdie <laughs> compare with Bridge GT? Okay, later we're going to show, okay, everyone, what is the Rich GT, because there were some questions regarding about Rich GT. Okay. And a lot of interest also on Rich GT. So in terms of performance, how does it compare? So later we'll show uh, Nicholas later. Yes. Stay in tune, okay? Later we'll show you. Stay tuned lah after this lah. Ah, so correct, correct. Out, That's right. And then we still roll up and your tour oh, glass. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, you correct, correct, model, correct. yeah, true, true. <laughs> okay, so I hope that all this explanation is really clear for especially if let's say your your very first time with us, you're deciding on a buddy model to buy. Mm. I hope it actually helps you to actually to pinpoint which model is for you. Yes. Okay. So GT, I would say quite an uh, all-rounder. Might not be the fastest one because of its tires, but really comfortable, really fun to ride with. But if you like to go to mm. nature for ride, mm -hmm. GT is the one. All right. Yeah. Okay. And really decent and good components. Lah. It's pretty link now at 3199 for standard colors. Correct. Okay. Then it adds on from there, from the colors that you choose. All right. So depending, same thing just now, uh, we flash regarding about the colors, lah, whether yeah. it's a premium matte, premium uh, gloss. gloss. Or let's say series. you have the Interpon series, yeah. it's additional 100, 200, or 350 dollars. Yes, okay, so really easy. So I'm sure, okay, if you're interested in this to go for your green cor corridor, corridor this long weekend, yes. then please wait no longer. Come Pack down today or tomorrow. tomorrow. That's right, okay, mm -hmm. that's for the GT for you. All right, let's introduce the R20. Okay, so R20 is more for road riding, that's why R racing. 20, your 20 inch tires now. Lah. Okay, so it runs on Shimano 105, the entry level road bike components uh, to give you 11 speed and give you gears from 11 to 28 T's pocket. And at the same time, it's also running on TRT Spire brake set. Okay. So for those of you who want to go fast, you want to go join for 
Let's say you want to join your friend, go Tanah Merah Coastal Road lah. Chongster, Chongster. Ah, the Chongster oh, one. Yes. You think that to do an upgrade is a bit too late. Hmm. Wait no more. Go to retail shop tomorrow or today to get the R20. Okay, this has been our number one, one of our number one seller. Okay, mm -hmm. the models that is very popular right now. Okay. So, if you're looking at a fast bike uh, to cruise along, minimal effort, yes. uh, wonderful components or so, okay. Uh, quite decent components. La. Doesn't it cannot go PCN? La. Correct, can, you can. Go, yeah. Correct, correct. But okay. this is what you hear. Okay, it does have that up up sound. engagement sound. Correct, yeah. okay. So, some riders, they love it. Some riders are not so fond of it. La. Yes, correct. Mm. Okay, but this is a really a nice model to have if you're looking at really you want speed as Smooth, your primarily fast bike. Uh, yeah. you want to cover the distance, less effort, go for this. Okay, so this is retailing now at four zero nine nine. nine. Yeah. Okay, same thing. If you like to do your premium color, they will apply as well. So depending on whether it's your premium gloss, premium matte, uh, your Interpon X colors. That's okay, so we have quite a few range of colors available for cash and carry at our retail store. Or drop us an email. Let's say there's a color that you like. Okay, I'll put it aside. Okay. Next is the Touring Plus. And the Roll Off. Uh, the two colors. Okay, so right now I'm going to show everyone is the Touring Plus model. Uh, this is, has been gaining a lot of uh, interest as well. Uh, because a lot of riders, they tell me, Hey, Tommy, I like to have that gearing that is found on the Buddy uh, Touring Plus. This is the 24 speed. But I also like to do some occasional riding on the green corridor can this tire accommodate that as well okay because of its uh, quite flushed tires uh, this is a 70 psi this is a big apple tire it actually can also do some light trail uh riding okay so if you like to have that option you can also consider the buddy touring class 24 speed correct okay this one has an internal gear hub a semi archer three speed internal gear hub coupled with a eight speed derailleur cassette up there yes. to give you 24 speed so if you like to do a lot of climbing uh, you like to go and chong mount fable yes and you slope at night at night yeah uh, some people are like that i, I see what i'm going to come one of them uh. <laughs> uh, got, got people like that one uh, then you should consider the touring plus because this will help you to do it nicely and with less effort easy to climb all right the low gear, so. and of course with the big apple tires that's kitted with uh, it gives you really nice plush cushion right that's correct. Uh, very fast rolling. Okay. If you compare this with the GT, right, because of its tire, this actually rolls faster. Smoother. Smoother. Yeah. So if you primarily you do mainly, let's say 80% pavement, only maybe 10% uh, off road, uh, then correct. you can consider the touring class or so. Yes. Okay. So these this, are the touring series. Uh. Correct. Uh. So these two models that we're showing now is the touring series. So yeah, this is the touring the class. Okay. Going at 2999. Same thing. If you like to do your premium matte gloss or Interpon colors, uh, extra charges apply. Yes. All right. So, next one would be the buddy roll off that yeah. started is showing. So, okay, let's. This roll off, we just showed ah. to you some of the parts are not their standard components. All right. This is our boss bike. Yeah. Stung up already. That's correct. Already okay. for him to go long distance. Yeah. A total of 14 speed. These are using roll off hub. That's why the name buddy roll off. La. So, roll off is known for their internal hub of 14 gears. It's very smooth. It, um, only after like 5,000 kilometers of riding, then you need to change the oil. But when you ride, you don't feel the dragness of the internal gear hub. Lah. And at the same time, why roll off to go touring? Because it doesn't have external gears like the um, touring plus. Well, the stiffness of the chain tensioner itself will um, be able to withstand any knocks, let's say during your travel. Lah. Um, if if budget is not an issue, mm. okay, uh, no money, we yeah. strongly recommend riders, okay, if you don't mind paying a little bit more, yeah. uh, this is a wonderful model to own mm. because of that eternal gear hub. Uh, yes. Because of the 14 gear speed ratio, right, mm. there's always a nice rate, nice gear for you to use. Lah. So especially good for young people like me, okay, which is a bit demanding on the knee. Like if, let's say you do ride a bit of slow, uh, yeah. Pain, not really for ah. elderly la. nowadays i didn't say elderly i think young like me so ah uh, correct so actually the gearing helps a lot because you do not want to injure your knee ma 
So very important at my age. You say lah, you so old already. Uh, no, young, young, <laughs> going younger. Uh, so it's very important to have that kind of gearing because okay. it's very easy to to cycle. No, only that lah for people mm. who really want to ride leisurely. You know, right. leisurely. Uh, life as we know, living world already so stressful lah. You right, want right. to relax and unwind. then you don't want to have the hassle like, yeah. wow, you have to clean the cassette, everything, very very cheap, ma. This is a then having the roll up makes your life so much easy. Correct. Just cycle, 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 and they give you no problem. Yes. Okay. And the good thing about it is that even the more you cycle, lah, when the, the hub is running, it becomes yes, yes. smoother mm. and it's more enjoyable That's to correct. ride this model. Yes. Okay. Uh, really fast free. Uh, usually people buy this model, don't come back to us because they're out there running. Either they go overseas. Cycling and they never come back, no issue. Yes. Ah, uh, so we don't earn their money again to replace component. No need. But most of the time come back, eh? They buy uh, upgrade pedal. Thank you, Asi. Uh, Mr. W M Tan say Tommy is young. No lah, I'm youngest. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thanks, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, so really, it's a good model to own if let's say you have that budget, I should say. Yes. Okay, because it really solves a lot of your problem. Oh, I must clean this, clean that, must replace this because. Eventually, your cassette, those uh, derailleur cassette kind, right? Mm. You will rust, you will get bent and everything. That's but this correct. one, hardly, okay? Because everything is internal. It's so, an investment, I would say. That's right. Yes. Okay, so if let's say you do have that money, you are looking for really a good model to own. You do not want to have the trouble of maintenance, mm. but you want a lovely ride with the gears. Yes. Roll off, roll off is your choice. Yes, correct. Mm. It's not for you to go fast. No, uh, not a fast bike. Correct. Uh. Okay, people yeah. think, hey, give me your most expensive bike. This must be the, the can fly one. one. Uh, uh, no, no, no. They each have their own strength. Okay? So, like your R20, they have their own strength. Yes. Your Touring Plus, your Rolo, they all have their own strength. Correct. So, this one, the strength, I think, I think uh, personally for me, is the maintenance part. I don't have to bother. Mm. Uh, I just need to write a lot and that's it. That's my job, write a lot. Correct. Yes, I agree with you. Okay, so no maintenance required. it makes really your life easier and simpler. Right. So if that's your consideration, roll up la, no need thing. Okay, go roll up. Yes. Okay, we do have some ready cash and carry units, okay, at the retail store. Or if let's say there's a particular color you like us to build, let us know, drop us an email. If you want Hello, to have Mike, this kind of interpon colors on oh, the floor, also can, nah. also can. Ah, you just three let us know. Days. All right, <laughs> three working days. Okay, let us know. Moving on, let's move and introduce the next model. Just now, Nicholas was asking, right? All right, Nicholas. The difference. Uh, okay, Nicholas. Nicholas. Okay. So now we're introducing, okay, to everyone, which is another brand. This is not a buddy. This is the Rich GT. GT. First, we show him. Okay, la. so now it's a comparison. Rich GT versus R20. Buddy R20, which is faster. Okay, first thing we show R20. They say hmm. also both, also 20 inch. You look at the tires. Look at size. the tires first, huh? Yeah. One smaller, one bigger. Correct. Okay, the bigger one is your Rich GT. This mm -hmm. is actually using 451 wheel set. Yeah. The other one is 406 wheel set. Different dimension lah. The All Rich right. GT one is bigger. That's right. So, okay. but, but the R20, one thing is that the wheel size is not as big, but it gives you the flexibility that you can fold up the bike within in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Uh. Okay. But for the Rich GT, in terms of folding and packing, right, we, call, we name it more like a packing bicycle than a folding bicycle. Yes. Because it takes a while, okay, for you to pack down this bicycle. Mm -hmm. Not showing it today, okay? Maybe next time, the next live video we might do. Correct. La. But for now, okay, just to show you, to, just to tell you, like, it will take a while to pack this bike. Yes. Uh, but, okay, this is a very fast and agile uh, bicycle. If yes. you're looking at a bike that you can run fast, okay, uh, that has front and back suspension. This bike actually has front and back suspension. Yes. Okay, a lot of people were very surprised. Uh, it does have that, okay, that feature like the birdie. In fact, this is a mini velo. If you don't All need right. to pack the bike up, this is a mini velo that you can pack. That's right. So yeah. if you are thinking, okay, you like a small size bicycle, like a mini velo like this, okay, uh, for your house, yes. you do not fold that often, then Correct. the rigidity is an uh, excellent choice. It's not that you cannot fold. You can actually pack it, let's say, within, I think, what, one minute. Lah. In one minute, you can pack it up, put inside the cupboard. Yes, Let's okay. Say urgently. Uh, you can see that video. Uh, go to YouTube, search which yeah. GT packing. Um, uh, then you see his younger face. Oh, is it? Uh, down there packing. Oh, 10 seconds he do it. Not 10 seconds. Nah. <laughs> okay, la, okay, la, one minute. La. 10 seconds you do. <laughs> okay, so it can be done. La. Yes. It's how good you are. It's very good la, mm. on the packing side. Okay, so it's a very fast bike. So uh, people are asking, this one faster or that one faster? Okay, if you look at the ergonomics, mm. the the frame itself, it asks you to go forward, lean forward. So this is a faster bike. 
Okay, in yes. terms of comparison, if you look at a birdie bicycle at Richity, right? Yeah. The stem here is fixed. Shorter. This is shorter, uh, so it gives you a rather sporty, uh, really dy those dynamic, those kind of posture. Very like uh, if you are a very seasoned road bike cyclist, like it's more forward like, leaning. Like. You want to go uh, forward. So chung you want to chong kind, uh, yes. it's like that. So for those of you very seasoned road cyclists out there, you want something a bit similar to your posture when you're riding, then the Richity will do nicely, actually. Yes. This mm. is more for people who want to go fast. But All at the right. same time, you want the flexibility, you want to bring your bike overseas. That's you right. You can pack it up. Ah, okay. So a lot of riders okay, who came to the store, they were fascinated with the frame. Mm. You know, especially this triangular frame. Okay. See, wow, very unique. Leh. Very beautiful. Sexy, man. Mm. So, you know, I know. Agree. Say, yes. I cannot do any more like that. Younger people can. Ah, mm. uh, can. You ah. see, young. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, young. yeah, yeah. I can, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, they were surprised also when they did the ride because of the suspension. Yes. So a lot of uh, mini velo out there don't have suspension. Okay. They have no suspension. So when you try this, uh, you'll be shocked. Yes. Uh. But the suspension to customers out there is not like those very heavy going down bomb staircase. Uh, it's more it's for not. pavement and kind. Yes. So it does help in the reducing of the vibration. That's correct, so it makes yeah. you, uh, like if you do a longer distance, like round island kind of thing, right? It makes the ride really more pleasant. Not yeah. so strong. You Nicholas don't find. Tim, yeah. ah, thank you. Mm. Is the front suspension lasting? Okay, the front suspension mm. um actually can be replaced. Lah. These ah. are using the EU rubber. Elastoma. Ah, PU elastoma. So yeah. not to worry easily. It's cheap also. Very Correct. easy to replace. Yes. Okay. So for riders looking at a fast strike, uh, you want that aggressive riding posture. Mm. Okay. Uh, then look no further. Reach GT. This is available in four. Beautiful colors. Yes. Okay, so flashing right now the price as well as the different colors. We have your Misty course, brown, mm -hmm. the black, aquamarine, orange. Yeah. Okay, so retailing at 3550, place your order mm. and you can collect it within three working days. Yeah. Hey, okay, Nicholas, if you think you don't know mm. which one to choose, right? You can come by today or tomorrow also can, 10 a.m., 7 p.m. Okay. Do that. Yeah, right same la. thing. Okay, Richity, we do have test rides available, mm. rides like a full size bike really go as fast as a full-size bike. Yes. So if that's your consideration, then it will be the Rigi T. Yes, that's Okay, right. so we're going to introduce two models again. Hang on a while. <clears throat> so the next bike we're going to show you is a carry-all. What is carry-all? Carry, carry all? me and carry-all. Yeah. Uh, Oh, now you can sing, huh? Of course. Okay, this carry-all is more for customers who are having maybe kids difficult to balance or elderly who cannot go through balance or you have sickness or illness that oh. have difficulty for you to balance. Right. Mm. Okay, this is our one of our number one seller at our store. Mm. Okay, we are very shocked and very surprised also lah, that yes. so many people are buying the carry-all. So that really means uh, there's a lot of nun riders out there. Yes. Okay, many, many, many. Not say non riders lah. Non riders shoes. Some yeah. also they are riders lah. Last time they were riders before, and then they had some operation. Cannot afford to or fall. they become younger lah. Yeah. Uh, then they cannot afford to fall anymore. Okay, then then younger. they need to have the carry all. Yes. Okay. So the best thing about the carry all three wheel very stable. Yes. Will not topple. Yeah. Cannot afford to topple. Mm. So that's why they get the carry all. Okay. Target people who are they? People who have sickness. Young people like me. Um, okay. Uh, who else? People who cannot balance. Very good. Who else? Um, let's say special needs kids who need to improve on their motor skills. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Because you don't have no so much gear. There's only one single speed. Correct. They don't go so fast. You can keep mm. a close watch on them. Yes. This one no, I say lah because we've got customers come before. Ah to the yes. We yeah. also have young customers. I'm very shocked also. Uh -huh. It uh, doesn't mean, you know, only the active seniors are using this, no? Yeah. Young customers are, young adults also using this, so don't be yes. embarrassed, okay? Because I got customers coming, eh, I'm so young, eh. Can you just carry on or not? Uh. Say, no need lah, so many people use it. Just ride lah. Yes. Important thing is you do it. The worst thing is you don't even do it, then you don't enjoy it. Then people riding it, you cannot ride. What, wow, they kind of feeling <laughs> terrible, right? Yes. Ah, so now, don't worry. Carry on, that's why. Ah. Okay, so the thing is to do it lah. Important thing. Don't wait any more longer lah. So if let's say you've been deprived of riding a bicycle for the very longest time, please treat yourself well. Mm. Buy a carry-off for yourself. It could be also for your, maybe your husband, your wife, or maybe your parents. They never had a chance to ride. And then now you can bless them with one. And then they can ride. 
So at least they have they have something to do lah, and then it's for health. Okay, even better. You don't have to stay at home and not watch TV. Yes. Ah, uh, bless them with health. The gift of health. Let them exercise. Look at the scenery. Improve good on lah. their mobility or uh, joy. Good for the mind. Yeah. Good for the body lah. Yes, correct. Okay. So we have customers doing long distance on this bike. Not just short. People think very short distance. Yeah. No, no. They ride right, right, from Marina Barrage to Changi. Ah. You still got one friend you bring before, yes. right? Okay, so it's possible, okay, on you can do it slowly and build up a stamina. Mm. And then you can do longer, longer, longer distance. So it doesn't mean you cannot. And we have actually, last time, our customers, they bought this because they want to discover all the different park connectors in Singapore. Yeah, so now it's improving. Ah, correct. The more and then, you should be moving out. That's right. And the uh, government is spending, you know, on the infrastructure of the park connector. Yeah, so yeah. eventually, all the whole island will be connected through park connector. So it's a good time to invest in a bicycle or even a tricycle. Yes. Okay, so if you cannot ride, don't. It's not an issue anymore. Yes. Uh, you can always ride with a tricycle. The carry on. Cannot ride, don't worry. You got carry on. Correct. <laughs> okay, so let's go through the specs. How much it costs? Okay, so the bike itself is at one four nine nine. Comes with bell, front brake, rear brake. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's just that these are not solid tire lah. You need to inflate the tire. Yes, correct. Before your ride. Ah, uh, correct. So okay. must inflate. Uh, you can take up to a maximum weight of about 90 kg, 90 mm. to 100. Lah, okay? And of course, uh, weight requirement uh, from 145 to maybe about 180. Lah. Height. Lah. Height lah. Yeah. Okay? So, should be able to accommodate most people. Correct, yes. Mm. Okay, okay, so the next not, one. Not too heavy or so when you fall it down. Uh, how, you can you fall it down it. to show everyone how, how fast and easy it is. Okay, it weighs only about 10.4 kg. This is aluminum frame, doesn't rust. Lah. Okay, so only the bicycle chain you need to maintain, you need to pump up your tires. That's about it. So really, relatively very easy to maintain this bike one. Yeah. Because single speed, ma, not much maintenance. La. So if mm. you don't need to carry after you, you pull, drag it behind. Drag it lah. You take MRT, right? You just, you can take the lid. Or push it You in can prop it in the escalator, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have a question from Mr. WM Tan. Where's the front suspension? I can't see. Okay, maybe that's for the... Oh, the, the Richie. Yeah. Sorry, okay. It's actually on the front fork there. Next time, yes. we will show. Uh, Mr. S. Kim say graphite GT, black GT available for to purchase. If I walk in tomorrow, please do get in touch with us through uh, our PM yeah. on Facebook or even through uh, email. Correct. Then our colleague can straight away uh, reply okay. you lah, whether we have the stock available. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the question. Okay, so the carrier is available in two colors, either gray or in brown. Yes. Okay, retailing at 1499, we do have ready cash and carry units available. No need to wait. So if you are keen in getting a tricycle, okay, for your mom, your dad, for your wife, your hubby, okay, could be your children, your auntie, or whatever, your friends, please bless them with one, or maybe it's to reward yourself for a job well done. Then please get this for yourself. Yes. All right. Next, we want to show everyone is the carry me. So just now we say carry all right. Uh, this is carry me. Carry you. Carry you. Heavy. Uh. 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 <laughs> can. Uh. can uh. But the bike can carry you. Uh. Can. Uh. Can. Uh. Okay, so it's going to show everyone, okay, how easy it is to set up the carry me. And this is uh, very light. It's one of the lightest, uh, in fact, one of the lightest folding bicycles in the market. Okay, this is uh, weighing about a mere 8.3 or 8.4 kg. Yeah. Single speed, aluminum frame, okay, so it can accommodate up to about 8, 90 kg. Very uh, compact. Very compact. Yeah. So if you're looking at the most compact bike in the market out there, this is it. Uh. Yes. Okay, because this one, you can easily fold it in your trunk of the boot. Huh? You put three or four, so okay. Yes, correct. Yes. Then in your, in your this uh, HDB flat, well, I can put two or three. Slot yeah. in the corner, won't take up much space. Correct. These are more for leisure cyclists, uh, not mm. for you to go uh, very fast. You can go long distance, you can. Can, this one go yeah. to Malaysia. Leh. I saw last time. The first one to reach Malaysia. Wow, oh, when the border open. Like that. But not this, this one. Uh, it's uh, look one. something like this. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So we chong ah, chong Malaysia, then chong what? You can. Maybe we can ask JJ to do. Ah, JJ can chong there also on the on the carry me, yeah. Ah, can lah, can lah. Okay, so same. It comes with a kickstand. This, everything. Yeah, nine nine nine. All right, so everything there already. You have a kickstand, integrated ah, belt. Belt. Okay, everything there. Ah, rear brake is using the mm -hmm. drum brakes ah. Hmm. So and the front is still using the. Okay, you still have brake. to inflate the tires ah. There's mm. uh, actually inner tube inside. Okay, so very light, very lightweight. Uh, for those of you who rides primarily just in a park connector, uh, okay, a lot of people think have this wrong perception that this is a very slow bike because of the wheels. You're wrong, okay, it can go up to about 12 km per hour, which is pretty fast actually on a park connector or even in the park. Even on the pavement. 
All right, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. you can come by, try it out, okay, and then you'll be shocked. Yeah. All right. How much? Nine hundred ninety-nine. Okay, so below a thousand nine 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 available in all those beautiful Good colors shown right now. Yeah. Okay, and the best of all, the carry me actually do come with a luggage, luggage. case in yes. case you want to travel, and that is the case now where now with all this uh. Countries opening up, okay. Uh, uh, you can actually now might be considering to actually to take your bike along to travel, maybe to ride while you're visiting a country. Mm -hmm. So right now, okay, we're showing actually uh, yeah, the carry me with this luggage case. This luggage also can be purchased mm -hmm. at 580, 580. Okay, good stuff. Okay, I really like. Uh, comes with, of course, your ABS. Ah, ABS, yeah. Correct, uh, ABS. Yeah. Okay, so this actually can back and contain your carry me. Yes. So if you're looking at places, okay, where you want to go okay. there and then have the convenience of a bicycle to explore the places, go to Tokyo. Then, yeah, la, then go for a carry me. It's so very right. easy. Mm. How you can pack it? See, just take out your seat post. All right. Let me, let me. Okay. Thank you. Can bring this down. The whole bike you take and put them inside. All right. So very easy, okay? Pack it down and then after that, tie it down. Tie it down. This mm. one, put it inside. Okay. Then just pack it down. Tie it again. See? Ta da! All packed nicely. Okay? Zip. It also comes with a TSA uh, approved lock. Yeah, so oh, no need to go and buy a TSA lock anymore. Yeah. It's with the case itself. Okay? It comes on four swivel wheels that you can remove. See? They so do. really stylish, really durable. You can bring it up anywhere. Yeah. Now I show you. <laughs> you can also purchase the trailer kit. Alright, so if let's say if you want to cycle, okay, mm. together. With your case, it's yes. possible. All you need to do is to purchase a trailer kit, attach it to your bicycle, yeah. and then you can cycle. So the wheels are, what caster wow. wheels are, can be removed. Okay, so all you can remove. Okay. You also have pockets. Where okay, so all, all the, the pockets wheels, are huh? all there in the case for you to store your custom wheels. Yeah. And then of course uh for you to actually to also to keep your trailer kit lah. This right. A lot of compartments, I would say. All right. And you put your wheels. Okay, so this is the wheels for you to attach onto your case yeah. so that you can actually cycle along with your carry me case. Okay, so you are joining us for the very first time. Thank you. Please do like and share the live video. Okay, yeah. if you have friends thinking of getting a buddy bicycle, a carry all, a carry me, a rigidity, then please like and share to their page so they have more information about the pricing. Or you have any questions regarding about anything, comment, 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 comment. Okay, mm -hmm. now stop. Our colleague will get back to you. All right. Thanks what? for joining us. Tommy, you like YouTube artists or that? YouTube artists are not oh. like Calafair, you got YouTube artists. Okay, so very easy. So starting right now is attaching the you don't need screw. roller wheel. Yeah. That's right, very easy. Plug in and play already. See? Plug in and play, and then just need to set up to your case, attach the trailer kit. Yeah. And this one goes in. Mm hmm Slot that in. Okay, so JJ can show uh, how it attaches onto the carry me itself. All right, so really a really nifty uh, option, I should say, for you to attach and travel, okay, with your carrying case. Uh, not many, I think, bicycle has that option uh, to do that. So if you're looking at something really simple for you to bring along a bicycle with its mm. casing, with its trailer kit, when you travel, then look no further. Yes. Go for the carry me. Okay, very simple. Uh, for you to set it up within minutes. That's correct. Okay.
So um, the... so let's say you travel with your backpack. That's right. Uh, your backpack you can put inside. Correct. Uh. Okay, so you are not stuck lah. As in, you need to leave your like your bags and stuff and like that, like the at the airport. Uh, airport or yeah. something like that. Okay. So uh, to consider yes, carry right. me it's and the case, and of course, it's trailer kit lah. So the case is retailing at five eight zero. Trailer kit going in at. 280 and of course you carry me at 999 yeah. okay we do have uh, some uh, packaging some promo lah available on the package uh, you can purchase your carry me together with the case uh, so we have all this combi lah a so called package available yes so right? you save more lah definitely you save more when you buy the bike together with the luggage all right or let's kit. say you have already owned a carry me already then you can just buy separately your casing and your trailer kit That's and correct. you're good to go for your holidays Okay, so now, that's for the carry me. To show the uh, last we bike. have one more bike to show everyone. Okay. Hey. Okay. Actually, well, you want to show the back? back? No, show this first. Yeah, we show this. Okay, so um, okay, we're going to show everyone this uh, very unique bike. Uh, Okay, this red color bike. What is this? What is this? This is called the Iruka. Okay, the Iruka is a Japanese uh, design uh, bicycle. Uh, we have launched it uh, about two years ago. Uh, this is the new model that we are selling right now at Mighty Velo. It's called the Iruka C7. Uh, there are some changes to this particular model. The components, so we're going to run through with, with every one of the viewers okay, on how, what are the changes. Mm. Uh, this is ready for purchase right now at Mighty Velo. It's retailing at 2899 available in, I think, five colors. This is one of them, red color. So, Sadiq is going to run... Sandstorm. Sandstorm? Wait, no, Sandstorm. The gray color. Yeah, this is where we'll yeah, run through the colors. Run through the colors right? Let's go through all the different features ah, first. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Storm gray. Ah, storm gray. <laughs> okay, so let's Sandstorm. run through the different feature of the Yuruka T7 first. Yes. Uh, first thing. Hey, sorry, wait. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, first thing we like to show everyone, right, is that this particular model uh, has a riser bar. You notice? Mm. See? More for you to like to ride more uh, upright. So if you compare this with the previous model, it actually gives you some uh, allowance, even higher. That's correct. So it's more comfortable for city riding. Yeah. So if you want a more relaxed, comfortable ride, actually this particular model ride does give you that yes. with this new added feature, sure. which is the riser bar. Second thing, it also comes with the city tires now. That's right. Okay, last time it used to be project. on slick project yeah. tires, but right now, okay, it's running on uh, this kind of pavement tires. Mm. So, uh, better grip. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. And also running on the hub. The main one is a hub. Correct. Right? Last time it was running on a Shimano Alpine uh, internal gear hub. Yes. But for this uh, Iruka C7, it's running on Nexus. Shimano Nexus internal gear hub. So, uh, for those of you crazy about internal gear hub. Besides the roll off. Yes. Okay, this is another model with the Eternal Gear Hub that you might want to consider. Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, Iruka C7 going at 2899. Mm. We have ready stocks. Okay, just need you to place your order. Uh, some are cash and carry if mm. we have ready built them. So if you're keen to do a test ride, come on down to a retail store Correct. Uh, to try it out. Okay, if you want something that is really different from the other folding bikes out in the market. Yeah. With, with very innovative uh, how it folds down later we'll show you everyone and yes. uh, then you really want to have this trendsetter this particular model called the iruka c7 you can see like even the frame mm. is like birdie maintaining a single correct frame. yeah uh, so there isn't any break or joint in its That's main correct. frame and it comes with a rear suspension as well mm. okay uh yeah so you can even pack it this way half pack it okay so you can pack it this way without a kickstand Let me show everyone how it's folded, yeah. and then you can roll it. Oh, mm -hmm. A very innovative way of actually folding. The rear wheel actually keeps in, in its mainframe, this hollow there, for you to keep your mainframe. Yeah. That way, that's like this one. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Oh, no yeah. Like mm. ah. Alright. Goes in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you notice actually the rear wheel goes into its main frame. Mm. Okay, so very different from the other folding bike designs in the market where usually it folds in the middle. But this actually, the, the frame, the rear tire actually goes through the main frame. All right, you can actually roll it along. Okay, and if you fold it really all the way down, uh, really compact. Okay, you can roll it just now. You can take it to MRT, to the bus. Okay, no issue. Lah. You can roll it. It's within the specs. And of course, you want it to be really compact. You can fold it down, including your seat post. Okay, retailing at $2,899. It comes in five beautiful colors. All right, so we have ready stocks. Uh, if you're keen, just drop us. Either you go to our retail store, okay, to do a test ride, or if you're ready to place your order, you can go to our retail store as well, or go to our website, www.mightyvelo.com. All right, so that's Iruka. Five gorgeous colors for you to choose from. Red, blue. All right. Okay, right now we have, uh, moving on to the next segment, uh, requested by a lot of customers. They say, hey, Tommy, I'd like to buy accessory later. I bought your bike already, but I want to accessories. Give me more accessories. So your wish is our command. So now I'm going to show you more accessories, okay? So moving on, we need to have the bag. Yeah, hang on, let me get the bag. Okay. Okay, the first one. The bag is that? This one, this one, Tommy. Okay. All right. So yeah, show, like, show the... showing everyone first thing is the bike trunk bag. Okay, welcome back. Thanks for joining us throughout our live video. So customer is asking, Alama, only penny a bag? Do you have bags? No, no, bag? no. We have many bags. So yes. if you want bags, huh, you want kuti kuti. Now it's your chance now. Ah, okay. Have a look now. Now we have the old lip. Okay, right yes, okay. So right now we are actually featuring a Birdie City model with a rear rack installed yes. with your mud guard kickstand. So now, okay, you actually have the option to purchase a, they call it a odd lip rear trunk bag. Yes. Wow, so now, no excuse. Ah. Even all the bike riders can buy their own bag, not the wife only. Uh, the husband also can buy their own bag. Okay, so Sally is going to show you how you attach it easily. Just a click. Onto so your rear comes, trunk. Uh, yeah. See that? It's not lever. Just bring it down. Ah, okay. Click onto your rear rack. On. Click. Okay, and that's it. Very easy installation. Okay, and the best thing, this thing is waterproof. Yes. Okay, what's the capacity inside? Maximum 10 kg. Lah. Okay. You can put on the rack. But so I this think, okay, expandable. this one is good. Lah. You can put can quite a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, you can put your, your change of clothing when you cycle and commute to your work. Yeah. Maybe your lunch box, six pack beer inside, your lulian. Ah, uh, your water bottle, how can throw inside? Now you know, Tommy, go riding, bring beer. Ah, uh, sure, right? So, a lot of flexibility lah. And the best thing is waterproof. And best of all, it's Olive. German brand. Uh, easy to remove, easy to... Correct. Reset. Okay, important. How much, how much, how much? How much? This one will be at 228. 228 only. Okay, Olive brand. Waterproof. 228 only. Full waterproof. Ah, uh, this one not, not, this is German brand. Uh. Not Thailand brand or anything, or China brand. German brand, okay? Well known for waterproofing quality. Yeah. Olive. So after you remove from the rack, uh, see? Uh. see how you carry? Silo Milo. Uh, see, uh, walk, 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 model must walk. Walk, walk. Uh, see, walk, Silo walk, Milo. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, Silo Milo. Okay, very nice. <laughs> two, two, eight. Okay, so don't wait any more. Like we have sling. Uh, limited quantities, better, faster grab. After that, no more. Yes. Okay, you can place on our website, shop.mightyvelo.com. Order, order, order. Beer. A oh, beer. Beer trunk bag. Two, yes. two, eight. Later, after seven, you can have your beer. Okay, later, I drink my beer. Okay, it's very and, spacious. Uh, lah. Ah, throw everything inside. Ah, so, you, let's say if you are uh, a photographer, ah, throw you inside. your camera inside. Correct. Inside. All your lens, your, uh, your camera body, all be well protected. Ah, but lah. put your insert first. Lah. All right. Okay, really good stuff. 228. And of course, you need to, ins you need to buy the rear rack. Lah. So, yes. it's back in stock right now. For those of you who have been always waiting for a rear rack. For me, a rear rack, where, 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 where? Ah, it's back in stock. Just come and buy. It's $250. Yeah. Okay, come and buy. But give us some time sir, to install. The, la. uh, mechanic That's install. right. Okay, yeah. so if you're itching to install, please bring your bike over to our uh, retail store. Retail store. Very nice. Huh? See, Stylo Milo. Huh? Don't say, we never say, uh, no accessory to sell you. Huh? Now got already. Please come fast. Yeah. Okay, 228. Rear trunk back. Correct. Next thing we want to reduce, of course, will be the smaller okay. one. Come. 
I said, ayo, the bag so big. So big. Ah, uh, the one so big lah. I want to put beer. I want to put uh, kuti kuti ni. Put handphone. Put handphone. Put your wallet. Put your sunglasses. Do you have that option? Yes. That would be the only. Yeah, you know, I put the shoulder strap. Ah, uh, you also salo mai no. Ah, uh, he wear salo mai no. Eh, he walk. Uh, can, can walk. Can walk. No, can Pricing walk, for no. this is called. This is called the what's this brand? Which one? This one. Uh, it's called the Ultimate Six Company Free Bag. Yeah. Okay, retailing at one two eight. Okay, one two eight is only the bag, ah. Huh? Bag only. But if you want to put a uh, mouth, it's additional thirty dollar. So total one five eight with the mouth. Yes. Ah, uh, you see now, ah. Uh, so you have a look at the description there. Very spacious, okay. Multi purpose for you to put. You can take along the sling. Let's say when you go for your makan makan at hawker centre, your money, ah, yeah. uh, your wallet. Put wallet. Maybe uh, a your small one point five. The shades. Maybe a small towel. Five hundred ml. Or can throw inside lah. Uh. Okay. And and best of all, it's waterproof and spy olive. Small lah, quite small. Ah, uh, see stylo. Uh. What see lah? But see, zoom in, zoom in, zoom, <laughs> zoom. Wah, stylo, Milo, see. Quite small lah. Lah. Like ah, handsome, handsome. Must walk, walk sideways lah. See profile. Uh, profile. Move ah, handsome. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. Handsome lah. Nice, nice. Okay, good. For so going at one five eight ah with the mount. This mount. But if you have a mount already, you already purchase an Oli bag. Then no need. Then don't need this Right, you just need to buy the bag only. Yeah. Okay, so you can purchase this from our retail store, or please go to shop online with our online store shop dot Full waterproof, ah. Uh, Full it. waterproof, okay. Made in Germany, not in China, ah. Uh. Yes. Uh, very good stuff. All right. So this is the two bags that we recommend, okay. You want to get bags, okay. Another option to put your bags instead of pannier bags. This is uh, two ways, lah. Uh. Okay. We have very limited amount of uh, stamp paddles that just came yes. in recently, and they are gorgeous. You know, we use stamp one, one. pedal. Yeah. Uh, I've been asking stamp seven, stamp seven. Now we have the stamp seven. Alright, okay, but these are the high-end models, lah. Yeah. Not so, stem one, lah. Stem seven. No, they are stem seven. One. Okay, this particular model, alright, is actually is a stem seven, black and pink mm. color. Pink, ah. So those of you ah. like pink color, black color one. Yeah. A lot of people asking me, I want black pattern, lah. Like. Have or not? Yeah. Sorry, at the moment I don't have, but now I have this one, lah. Black and pink. Ah, but it's slightly a bit pink. more expensive, more premium. This is going at two hundred and forty-five. Yeah. Okay, then they will say in the next question. Wow, why so expensive? Ah? My stem one only sixty dollars. Eh? How come it's so expensive? Totally different. Ah, why? Stem one, okay. This you can actually, they actually have this LL glide bearing and it's okay. very smooth, lah. Okay. That's right. And also this one is using ah uh, the aluminium material. Can service also. Ah, uh, the stem one is using the plastic one. Yes. This one better component, Correct. smoother, more durable. Okay. So you want something a bit more special, ah. Uh, this kind of quality kind on, then please mm -hmm. grab the stamp seven, black and pink. Okay, with the starts here, right. going at two hundred forty-five. We also have the limited edition. They call it the oil slick limited edition. Yes. This particular color is going at two three five. Correct. Ten dollar cheaper than this lah. Okay, this one wow, ah. bang Yeah, bang ah. If you are having a poly silver ah, this is you. Yeah, you are ah. trying to say you Steven ah. bang ah. He's buying also this pedal. No? Can also lah, can <laughs> ah, can ah. This one bang ah, bang ah. Pierce ah. No okay. lah, if you want ah. something that's um, easy to match on other colors. Correct lah. So yeah. let's say yours is uh, polished silver. The, maybe yours is a black silver. Oil slick now is a trend. Silver, that kind lah. So matchy matching lah. Oil slick now is a trend. So if you buy you accessorize with oil slick, this one. Oil right. slick. Time seven. Uh, we don't have much uh, units match. Okay. So you yeah. have to be fast. Correct. Okay. So chop chop ah. If you do this, uh, if you can. Drop down today, drop down tomorrow, grab, okay? You can either order online, also can lah. Yeah, la. online also can. But we have limited uh, numbers only. So once yes. sold out, that's it, you have to wait a while already. Correct. Okay? So these are the two things we want to show. Okay, so those of you going for accessories, okay? Please grab them before they off, fly off again. Huh? So yes. we have your, the trunk bag, okay? Going at 228. Correct. We have your, this, uh, they call it the, the compact, free. compact free bag. Uh, the one. Six. Uh, the one going at one two five, eight, eight. Okay. and then plus your mount is one five eight mm. and of course we have your limited edition stem pedals okay stem seven pedals going at either two three five or two, two four, four five. five okay long weekends mm. is um just around the corner so all of you might be having well, plans well, one go long right one to go right yes so before you go for your mm. ride please do a simple check all right okay? so unfold your bike Make sure you inflate up your tires first. Okay, I need, tire this, I need to say this. Let me say this. Uh. Because I have many customers coming to the retail store. Uh, they come with their bike uh, wrongly folded. Uh. And they tell me, Tommy, why your bike like that one? Every time got sound one. Every time got sound one. 
Then I say, uh, it's not because the bike got problem. It's because user got problem. Now say user, uh, maybe they're not familiar with the polling. Ah, uh, correct. Okay, every so... Every time user... Yes, okay. The thing is, okay, before you write, right, you must do safety check. Yes. So I cannot, I cannot... I'm not there to tell you, lah. So down here, you must remind yourself, okay? Before you write, do three things. Do three things. First thing on your body bike, right, you look at this cable here. You see, not? JJ, you zoom in, ah? Help me to zoom in. You see this cable here? Yeah. It's supposed to be flowing straight and nice in front. Okay, I have always, ah, uh, all a lot of new customers, they, they bring home their bike, ah, uh, they come back, ah, uh, their, their table's all like that, no? You zoom in? You see? You come closer, lah. Ah, uh, you come, okay, sorry, lah. You see the cable now? Ah, this is wrong. Huh? You see, the cable is actually entwined and wrapped around the handlebar. If you see this, uh, please do not use the bike. Because if you use, uh, it will affect all your shifting, your brake. Uh, all will be affected. The reason is because you did an extra turn on your handlebar. Yeah. So all you need to do, just unturn it until your cables are running nicely and smoothly out in front like that. You see? Must be like that. Straight! Nice flowing! Okay? Before you ride. I have so many all come back, uh, all like that. No, I don't know why. Maybe they let their husband or wife uh, go and fold their bike, or maybe their friend, uh, not the actual owner. Hey, can you fold my bike? Then as a result, the friend all, all like that. Uh, they come out to the all like that. Or me never teach properly. Uh. Ah, okay. So must make sure. Okay, if you think your friend is going to do a bad job, don't let them fold the bike. You fold the bike. Okay, otherwise it's, they spoil your baby, you know. This is your baby. So make sure do it correctly. Uh. Ah, so must be straight, uh, like that. Yes, always okay. actually cable all because at the Because it's a front. safety issue also. Because if yes. it wraps around, you have no brake, no mm. shifting. Very dangerous. So always make sure uh, cable must be nicely laid out like that. That's the very first thing. Second thing, you need to ensure the clamp. Can you see not? My hand's pointing here. Yeah, I cannot see this. Hey, can you see already? La? Okay, here, here, here. I must say, uh, okay, here, see not? Can you see not? Oh. There's one clamp here. Okay, point here. There's another one here. There are two clamps on your bicycle. Please, 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 please make sure the clamps are tightened. Okay, we have many during at night, no, 12 o'clock. Tommy, Tommy, I'm riding halfway. Then the, the tip sliding down, no. But this one very loose, no. Can you help me now? Okay. At 12 o'clock at night. Don't sit. Sure, no. <laughs> okay, what you need to do, okay, if you encounter such a situation, is that you need to tighten them and you can do it easily. Yeah. All you need to do, let's say, this clamp. Okay, this clamp here. If let's say, okay, all you need to do, you open up the clamp first. Open up this clamp. Ah. Okay, use your finger. Ah. Turn towards the dial. There's a plus sign there. Turn towards the plus sign to adjust the tightness. Once you've done that, next thing, you need to lock this back. This thing, push back in. I have many customers forgetting to do that. And as a result, the whole clamp assembly dropped out. $45. And that will cost you $45 to replace. I say again, ah, when you adjust, you must open, you must close. Yes. Same thing, you go to the toilet, right? Zip, zip down, you must zip up. Same thing, so same thing, clamp. Open, you must close. Later, you don't close, because Saban, Hong Kong. Ah, same thing like that, you drop out $45. Cooling, ma? Ah, cooling, <laughs> cannot lah. Cooling $45, no. Why got cooling? That's one thing, ah. so this one you tighten. Seat post also tighten, same method. Open, turn towards the clamp, tighten, ready, lock. Yes. Then, done. Okay, this one very important. Next thing. Folding about the fish lever, let's say that once okay, and for all. Maybe you do the fish lever. How to fold so that the means it doesn't break. Okay, can. Okay, you explain that. Okay. First, uh, before you write, that's why you break already. Ah. You, you touch on it already, right? Yes. So before you write, let's say your cable, because the moment if you twirl your cable ah. all See? around, ah. the cable will definitely pull. Correct. And then below here. Your housing will not be seated inside. It yes. Will be seated outside. Okay, so then end up you say, hey, how come when I push, I got resistance, cannot move? That's the reason why. Yeah. Okay. So always ensure that the housing is seated inside this black bezel here. I can see. Maybe zoom in. Can JJ can just yeah. You can see this? Okay. See. Then the cables inside. You see the half metal cable cap lah. Ah. Ah, like that. Okay, it should be seated inside. Okay. Okay, and next thing that we want to mention to our users of the body bicycle is your rear lever, the plastic lever. Some people tell me, you know, yes. Tommy, how come the lever is so flimsy one? 
Ha? How come they flimsy one? I, I hold and break. Say no such thing lah. It's how you fold. If you fold wrongly, uh, then you will break. So now we're going to show you how is the correct method of folding to prevent that from happening. Mm. Okay, come show. Okay, so first, when you fold, always make sure you fold your front wheel in front of your frame where your pedal, your crank here, like that. So open up. Swing in. In front. See? It's always in front. Okay. You look at the cable. The yeah. cables are always, always front, huh? dangling outside. Okay, the next thing we are we want to emphasize is on the lever. Okay, so, okay, inside. JJ, can you zoom in on the lever? You see this portion there? We call it the fish lever. I don't know why fish are. Mm. We call it fish lever. This is for you to pull apart to release your rear frame. Yeah. So, this part here, you only do it when your two tires are on the floor. So, don't do this. Yes, I know it's very manly, oh, very, oh. very macho to hold and then do it. That's but as a break. result, you will rest all the weight on your plastic lever and snap it. Yes. So don't be macho. Make sure two wheels on the floor. Pull aside. Pull aside now. So what you do? You Pull. Open first. Then you lift up. Open, lift up. Then your this lever will never, never, never break. Okay, so you want to be macho uh, and carry the bike, then you will break. So no need to be macho. Okay. Macho open. become $25. Uh, open, so correct way. Uh, push aside, then you lift up. Open, lift up. That's all. Then you will never break one. Then swing in. Correct. Okay, that's right. Okay, so all these important features that we are sharing with you, okay, please do share with your friends. With your, let's say you have a friend who has just bought a birdie bicycle. They're not too sure how to fold and fold, okay? Then please let them have a look at this video. Yeah. Okay, because they are very important on how you, you maintain your bike, the performance, okay? It's all based on that, on how you take care of your bike. Correct. So if you're not too sure, please run through the video again. Share with your friend, okay, mm -hmm. who owns a birdie bicycle. Okay, maybe they just collected the bike recently, not too sure not yeah. to how to maintain and stuff like that. Then please show them this video, like and share and then... Or if they're yeah. riding together, then show them manually. La. Correct. Uh, okay, help uh. one another. Mm. So I hope that all these tips and all these things uh, will be very <laughs> useful for everyone. Okay, so that when you own a buddy bicycle, actually it's not... Somebody say, oh, I'm very afraid of the folding. Actually, nothing to be afraid. I once never you know, I once never you know all this feature, uh, it's... Yeah. Okay, very easy only. Alright, so it's all about knowledge. Practice or so lah. So please do share all these tips with your friends, okay? Uh, who are running a, a buddy bicycle. Correct. All very easy. So common mistakes, all these things, your cable, you know. So all these things, please do avoid them lah. Mm. Anyway, if you have mm. any issues or any questions, just PM us lah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, just drop us an email lah. We'll try our very best to mm. also to reply. Okay, so here's wishing everyone, okay, a long happy weekend. Yes. Okay, happy have holiday, a good rest. Happy visa day. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Till our next live video, please stay safe. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Signing off. Bye-bye.